Okay, a quick new uh, video uh, showing some scenery added uh, to a scene for a Hopper Robot. So let's uh, let's play this little file and see what it brings to us. So we see some scenery. Maybe I can, and we see this Hopper Robot, and now it's going to try and walk up the stairs and. Uh, Sometimes it goes right and sometimes it just has some problem somewhere and then it sort of falls over and uh, that's it. So, so far it's going good. We see it does approximately two, two hops on each stair. So this is a little bit of a critical, critical point. Okay, let's see. Yes, it, it manages to go up the second uh, part of the staircase so normally it will end up then at the square platform at the top and then there is the inclined part which it will go down on and that's uh, quite tricky so it's quite likely that somewhere it will jump off of, jump off of the ramp we will see so so far it's going good Yeah, it seems to be doing its job. Can get a little bit unstable. Uh, it's supposed to sort of stay on the middle of the track, but it can sort of hop around. And well, here you see already it's going quite, quite close to the edge, but it's still doing it. And there it goes wrong. Well, manages to keep balance, but it's about it. So view of the code it's very similar to what I had last time uh, it's it's quite dirty code because I like to just play with it a little bit so we see some staircases how it, how they are made but just a sort of loop and uh, so that's all some extra friction added to the ramp and then uh, I could control it with uh, with the keys but I, I didn't do it here Basically, it uses some sort of very simple weight points. First, it goes to some coordinate. Then, when it's reached that, then it changes the coordinates, and then and so forth and so forth. And we're on the way down of the ramp, I uh, change the speed a little bit because it's too too risky. The most important part here is uh, something that I didn't do in the last part. That is, uh, when you look at this R des variable. You see that I've added here some extra terms to keep the top of the robot uh, uh, better straight. Okay, and then uh, the robot itself, I changed some of the dimensions as you may have seen. So that's all.